Jai Shri Krishna, Jai Shri Ramachandra, Jai Shri Lakshmi Nilsimha. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, the future of the world for 2020 to 2021. So these years are going to be also really tough. We are going to see the different days when things may happen. We're going to cover various topics, including, um, uh, you know, which country may be affected the most by the coronavirus? Will it will it come again, or will a second outbreak happen? Uh, what should a lockdown be like, and um, what sectors should be freed from the lockdown, and how an ideal lockdown should be? And uh, will there be a food crisis, or um, will there be, you know, some major issue? And why did the epicenter of the virus shift from uh, China to Europe and so many more questions that people have what may happen next year during the same time and so many more things will be analyzed today uh, in this video so I welcome you all to today's video of the future of the world and we're going to begin with um, now what's going to happen now Basically now Jupiter, Mars and Saturn are in one sign. Yesterday Mars and Saturn had a conjunction. Uh, Jupiter was also present during this conjunction. And even today Mars, Saturn and Jupiter are still in the same sign. They will be uh, till May 4th when Mars will exit the sign. And um, at the same time Jupiter will exit the sign only June 30th. So this conjunction is going to remain till June 30th if we say I mean not the entire conjunction but a part of it. So there will be a lot of trouble including uh, you know limited food supplies till May 4th because the way the government is going with the lockdown and plus these planetary positions I would say that there's going to be uh, most probably a very limited supply of uh, food. And this, this situation has to be set right immediately for which I will give some solutions to. But this may be the future of the world for the next few uh, you know, days and weeks. Uh, till May 4th, there might be a lot of trouble. And uh, in my previous prediction uh, that, um, yeah, it was titled, What May Happen from March 29th to April 2nd. I had clearly mentioned that Andhra Pradesh and uh, the, the, the states on the eastern uh, side of, uh, no, sorry, uh, east, east coastal side of India will be affected the most. So uh, just within the last 12 hours, that is uh, the time in which I predicted the midnight between March 31st and April 1st, there have been reported more than 43 cases. And now Andhra Pradesh and the ones at the east coast might be the next uh, you know, hit states uh, also along with the west side. Um, but I'm also going to explain today what may happen to the economy. The economy is going to get more affected than the people who are dying from the coronavirus. Let's discuss on this topic also for today. But for now, we were talking about the uh, possible food crisis because of um, the planets in Capricorn, the three major planets in Capricorn, there might be a problem like this. For which people can prepare by growing their own food, People can prepare by, uh, you know, the government shouldn't lock down farmers. It's happening all over, you know, Karnataka. It's happening all over India. The government is now going to lock down farmers. Then what will be there to eat for the whole world? What will be there to eat for Indians? And not even the government of India. Other countries are also moving towards locking down farmers from agricultural activities, which is absolutely insane, according to me. And it's it's logical yeah so uh, the government of india has started locking down slowly agricultural pro uh, you know products and processes and uh, farmers aren't able to deliver their products to the people and this is going to create a mass famine if the government doesn't check it right now so it's a duty of the government according to all our scriptures and shastras and even according to logical sense to continue agricultural activities if you're continuing the supply of essential foods and continuing more more mega store and other big stores uh, all across india and maybe the same thing is followed across the world then you should be continuing the production of food you should be continuing the agricultural activities maybe pesticides and those supplies can be limited and completely stopped but organic agriculture should be consumed uh, you know continued and farmers should be allowed to continue with their agricultural processes or else the whole of humanity will be extinguished we need to take immediate steps on this and take immediate action
production and the government needs to let the farmers go out and do their agricultural activities and first of all there's not going to be a wider spread in agricultural fields because the human to human contact is quite separated unless you know you do something barbaric to animals like killing pigs which may spread the virus even quicker but simple normal and pure agricultural activity is the most beneficial thing for humanity and farmers will not be affected nor will be the public due to this coronavirus especially so let the farmers continue their agricultural activity or there'll be no food left for the whole world and this doesn't mean we indians and the whole world start buying stuff in panic buying if we start buying stuff there'll be no food left for the others or even for you in the future and that will only cause spoiling of all the food but we all have to encourage the farmers to grow the food we have to make the government allow the farmers to grow the food otherwise it's going to be destructive and the planetary positions are quite quite formidable during this period and they might be capable of causing a food crisis which and the immediate reason for the food crisis would be farmers stopping growing of food and what will we eat then amazon packed stale food that we have to dump in the microwave and remove it and eat full of aluminium and processed materials msg and preservatives no way we humans if we continue eating all these ready to eat stuff our immunity is going to collapse and crash and we might not be ready then for a next outbreak no matter how many vaccines come new viruses will come for these vaccines superbugs will come and so many more new diseases will come you might release one vaccine but nature can release a hundred viruses after this which could combat your vaccine your vaccine is only for one virus you can't create hundred vaccines every day and keep guessing what would come next we have to develop our immunity no medical science can save us if we don't develop our immunity and encourage organic agricultural tasks or at least simple agricultural tasks it's not possible to shift the agricultural tasks from organic you know from inorganic to organic in just a matter of a few days but at least let the agricultural tasks continue the way they are going except for killing of animals and you know himsa or violence activity to animals this will further increase the karma of the world and people will have to suffer there's only one solution there's only one solution my dear friends to bring problems down and as I'm saying there might be a second outbreak or there might be a disaster more severe than this to happen starting from December 20th and ending March 31st uh, I'm going to speak about this in the next few minutes and for those who are watching this as a separate video you can see the video at the end uh, of this tag um, about another outbreak that may happen so our immune system should be well prepared at every single time before people in cities you know just a few months before uh, when i had made this prediction august 22nd that there would be danger for the whole world people actually were not careful about it they were continuing to live their own sluggish lifestyles you no know, most majority i mean to say you know of living in a city inhaling toxins and going to work getting up late not caring for sunlight not giving due respect to food they're getting and so many more things and this we all have done together we all have disregarded mother nature's wonderful gifts and today we might suffer from these again so there's only one solution my dear friends we need to stop harming mother earth stop harming animals and if we all together collectively take a pledge to stop killing or hurting animals in any way inclusive of torturing animals even without killing them like what they're doing to cows and dairies and after the cows aren't able to give them milk they're just cutting them down i should explain this detailed and what we can do to you know stop this but this is just a gist of it and i would like to continue with the next topics in this video uh, at present and uh, um, and some more things would be that some people all over social media and even in the mainstream media have written articles about my prediction stating that I have claimed the end of coronavirus to be May 29th. My dear friends, the coronavirus isn't going to end May 29th. It's just going to start gradually decreasing post May 29th. People have to understand and hear properly, especially the people who are writing articles on media 
because they're not hearing me out properly. And when I say the coronavirus is going to end, I always have meant and always have explained that it's going to gradually reduce post May 29th. And also, it's just going to reduce for two days, uh, give a little small improvement, and this is going to drastically destroy the immunity and the economy of the public post May 29th also for two days. And even before that, there's going to be a lot of danger to the economy. But after this, June, uh, the, till the end of June, I don't see any good for the world. Till the end of June, there's only going to be disaster. Maybe the starting of July, of course, the starting of July is going to herald a slow reduction in the coronavirus, an actual slow reduction. So this is a video to all those people who have been commenting on my, you know, just writing commentaries on my videos without understanding it, that I have clearly mentioned um, in this video, I'm clearly mentioning the actual date to be the slow reduction of the virus to be the end of June. So the starting of the good for the world, you know, a slow, slow uh, reduction in the virus spread rate would be post June, post the month of June. And only the month of May 29th, yeah. May 29th is when Mercury is just coming out of the Kalasar Payoga and again entering back, becoming retrograde. This will only spoil the economy. People might think that it's going to be something good, but it will again shift back. So it's something going to be like people will look up to the world, uh, you know, look up to the medical industry and everything else for something good. But again, it shall retrograde back and things will again fall back in the same place. And such things will continue till the end of June and July will herald a you know, fresh start for battling the virus for the humans. And uh, that may be the slow time of the, you know, the virus reducing slowly. And uh, June, uh, sorry, July, August, September, October and November and half of December shall be a period of, you know, small peace, I would say, peace uh, in the sense People will be at least, uh, you know, the burden of the virus would be reduced. I can't say it's going to be completely reduced because a virus that has killed so many people can't fall overnight. But there is still hope people can get cured from this. People can, uh, you know, battle this virus. If we take the pledges I mentioned, it can happen. And if, if God wills, uh, he will only set our problems right if we understand what it is. I shall explain the, uh, you know, the law of karma also in this video. But for now, the dates are from now till May 4th. There's going to be a lot of issues relating to the hunger of the people and weapons that might be, you know, circulating everywhere. The virus is a major weapon that's attacking us. We can't comment on who has done it, but most probably it's just nature who is showing her way of you know, reducing the karmas of global humanity. Uh, yes, this would be one thing. And people are going to suffer till May 4th from all sorts of problems, especially hunger. So people have to prepare growing food. That's the main thing. And uh, also, uh, the end of June, as I said, is going to give a lot of improvement. So thank you. And next, I shall begin talking about the, uh, you know, the next outbreak. So the next outbreak is going to be really outrageous. This time it's going to begin from December 20th when Saturn and Jupiter will be completely conjunct. And even before that, for a short period, uh, you know, starting from uh, October, I would say, September, October, that time, uh, Jupiter is again entering the sign. Uh, on, uh, yeah, in the month of September, Jupiter is again entering the sign of Capricorn, which means that Jupiter is ready for another fight with Saturn. I shall show this conjunction on, uh, on the laptop now. But uh, before I show that to you, I would like to explain the effects of this conjunction. Uh, this conjunction is also going to cause a lot of disease and destruction and possibly even a famine because farmers are not being allowed to give their produce. If the economy of agriculture is not set right now, it's going to destroy the whole world. It's not going to leave a single human alive if people don't take action. But the planetary positions are not so bad as to cause mass destruction. Uh, it's going to cause a lot of destruction, but not complete destruction. That depends on what steps we take towards it. We need to take a step uh, to, to allow farmers to give their produce to uh, people dwelling across the world. Or if the backbone of civilization, human civilization, that is agriculture, is stopped. We're all broken down. We'll be collapsed. It's very important for us to allow agricultural activity to go on. And number two, 
in fact most importantly our immunity has to be developed by eating organic produce by consuming everything that's organic and by eating turmeric uh, aloe vera and also giloi you can say uh, amritavalli and you can search for this as tinospora cordifolia uh, if if you're not um, quite conversant with hindi and uh, other languages indian languages you can search for its botanical name or scientific name tinospora cordifolia and this is a very very amazing herb that is going to cure all sorts of vital damages and uh, everything even if it's not going to cure or if people think it's too powerful enough yeah so the virus is um the virus may be prevented we can we can prevent ourselves from catching the virus if we consume these herbs why doesn't the government give free supply of these herbs turmeric amritavalli and neem etc to every single poor farmer or every single poor person and even normal people who are not having access to it why doesn't the government give such essential supplies instead of providing free sanitizers for people and masks for people my dear friends these sanitizers as i have explained contain a lot of triclosan and formaldehyde it's not going to help anyone it is just not going to help anyone um so it's it's even if it just kills the virus at the moment that's present in our hands it's going to destroy our immunity instead of that we can take lemon rinds of lemon mix them with turmeric and rub our fingers and hands and in between every single uh, part of our uh, fingers and hands we can apply this all over our body also if one wants it a complete disinfectant to the body this is a natural disinfectant it's going to build up our immunity with the vitamin c it has it's going to cleanse all the dirt from our body plus kill the viruses who would argue against the fact that turmeric is a very powerful antiviral agent who would argue against the fact that lemons are extremely perfect so there is no scientific argument against these two worldly known amazing herbs so instead of giving disinfectants to every person spraying migrant laborers with yeah show the video where uh, poor farmers are being sprayed farmers are being sprayed the migrant laborers and people yes. coming from different yes. states are being sprayed i shall show that later but uh, yes why is the government spraying people with horrible disinfectants that cause burning to the eyes and the whole face and also giving these sanitizers free of free cost to all the villagers what if the children just consume some of these sanitizers or just apply them too much all children are fond of seeing those lathery lathery solvents well my dear friends this is going to cause a lot of damage not only now but in the future it's going to destroy the children's reproductive systems the nervous systems and all the systems humans are going to become degenerated and therefore it's very important for us to take an action uh as 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 a citizen of india uh as citizens of india we should be taking action against this free distribution of sanitizing agents free distribution of you know, masks are really good but along with masks one should also give turmeric one should give amritavalli as special herbs chanakya has said in his uh, chanakya niti that one should always carry herbs and other medicines uh in any time because disasters might strike any time we should have them with us so we should have this turmeric this amritavalli and so many more herbs otherwise we are doomed so the government should give free distribution of these herbs to every single person uncontaminated just dried versions of these herbs don't want powders because we don't know how hygienic the supply chain of the powders would be so uh, this is a very important solution for the next outbreak if it may ever happen and one shouldn't stop the farmers from growing their food so this is a very important thing and as i said in my previous video or people who are watching this as a whole um i have just said in the last few minutes that uh there is uh, going to be a slow reduction in the virus starting june um end so july will herald a new rise for uh, you know humanity from this virus and the virus may be slowly counteracted uh, july beginning would herald it good times but my dear friends again the bad time is beginning december 20th and uh, slowly i shall just check the timeline i've researched on over here um there's going to be an eclipse in the middle uh, 5th uh, 6th june there's going to be one eclipse uh, it's a penumbral lunar eclipse and then we have one solar eclipse 21st of uh, june and that is also going to be quite bad but still it it is having a few signs of causing some help to humanity something 
good for humanity but we have to observe the eclipse at that particular time see the different uh, omens and portents that are occurring during that time in the sky and based on that we can analyze the future of the world so and that now, what do you suggest should the people see the eclipse directly or uh, I've explained these subjects in my videos on the eclipse. It's not good for people who aren't, uh, you know, conversant with astrology, conversant with Ayurveda to view the eclipse directly. In fact, no one is supposed to view the uh, eclipse directly. It's good if you wear uh, certain protective measures on the face to view the eclipse, but it's not advice for common public. It's only good for those who are doing it for research purpose or for astrological purpose, etc. They can view the eclipse. And a person who is still learning astrology shouldn't view the eclipse, whereas a person who is uh, just, uh, you know, doing some research on it, everyone's learning, but still someone who's doing research can view the eclipse as uh, the person will know a lot about it. And only when one knows a lot, that there's a purpose in viewing the eclipse and Eclipse shouldn't be viewed for fun. Children shouldn't view the eclipse. So should pregnant women and even normal people. They shouldn't be viewing the eclipse as it's dangerous for our eyes. No matter what so-called fact check talks about the eclipse, I would personally advise people not to see the eclipse. That's a totally different uh, thing. But 5th to 6th June is one eclipse. 21st June is another eclipse. And uh, these two are going to herald something good for the people, uh, something better. But the 21st June is still yet to be researched on. Um, but we have to research these eclipses only when they are happening or after they happen. We have to relay them again and again, check from where and what is happening. But for now, this eclipse may cause trouble to the people in common, may cause a famine, uh, etc. So um, yes, these are certain predictions for the eclipse. And after the eclipse, we are having a conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter on December 20th and post that um, we're having an eclipse even before that on December 14th which is going to uh, show us the signs of uh, what is going to happen in the future just like I predicted in um, August 22nd about the eclipse that is going to occur December 26th and I made a separate video on that December 22nd in which I said that December 26, 27 and 28 of 2019 will be very dangerous. So I also stand by one belief that the first death of a person or the first person to be affected by the coronavirus in China could have been 26, 27 and 28. So if if China was lying, it might have been lying, but according to me, 28. So of uh, December 2019, as I said in the last few seconds, uh, and uh, the planets are being aligned in a Samoha conjunction during that period. That means Rahu and Ketu with other five planets. And based on that, I actually um, explained the planetary positions of that time and I predicted something very dangerous happening to the public. You can watch that video and the same thing we can also understand uh, by December 14th of this year, we can understand much more about the social situation during the period. So here is my video talking about the I should also add a link of this video. You can hear this completely. This was published on December 22nd, which was talking about the future of the world uh, starting December 26th also. You can also watch my video on the uh, predictions for the world from uh, November 2019 to April um, 2020, if you haven't watched it yet, for a clearer picture of what I'm saying now. So, to analyze what's going to happen in the future, we need to also see the eclipses that are occurring periodically between uh, the time that has been given. And the next thing that is going to happen is the, February, Feb, the 10th of February 2021. My dear friends, a powerful conjunction of five, five to six planets, including Saturn and Jupiter being very close to each other, will be happening on this day and this is also going to occur in the sign of Capricorn and the previous conjunction which I was talking about December 20th is basically in the same degree that the Saturn and Mars conjunction is happening today uh, as of April 1st and March 31st uh, midnight. So um, this conjunction that we're going to witness from December 20th uh, is very much similar. So I have picturized a uh, severe condition of the public during this period because of the sixth degree of Capricorn being involved in this conjunction with Saturn and Mars being in the sixth degree that is Uttarashadha and also uh, 
this time Jupiter and Saturn being in the same degree of Uttarashadha and Capricorn. Uh, this is really something very interesting to analyze but very saddening to experience though. Um, what will happen to the economy is the next question. There will be a clear display of total economic disintegration, my dear friends. The economy is going to completely break down during this period. And uh, when would the economy come back? The economy would come back, or bounce back, starting November 2021. This the media has, uh, you know, presented correctly my prediction, but. The rest of it, most most parts of it have been presented in, uh, you know, inaccurately, etc. But um, I would clarify all these things again. And um, post 2021 November, economy will begin to repair, uh, uh, just begin to repair. It'll slowly get better. Jupiter will slowly move away from Saturn during this period and will start giving a new life to the economy. And I shall also display the planetary positions uh, for this. Um, very, very good time according to me and according to the planetary positions in the Shastras. When Jupiter starts separating from the rest of the planetary cabinet uh, and that's when he's able to give his influence separately. That's when he's able to express his own influences. So that great planet of our solar system can really help the economy of Earth during this period. So. Um, I'm going to display uh, the Jupiter transits during this period with their exact times uh, for the public to have a clearer picture of what I'm talking about again. And yeah, so um, according to Varaha Mira, any conjunction um, in the nakshatra of Vishweshwara or Uttarashara. As it said in this, Vishweshwarer Kaputrascharan Dasharanan Nihanti Yavananscha Ujjainim Shabaran Pariyatrikan Kunti Bhojanscha. This means Vishweshwarastha. When this, when Saturn is going through the uh, asterism of Uttarashadha, especially with another planet in a very inimicable, uh, sorry, um, a very en uh, enemy type of conjunction with uh, Jupiter and now with Mars, it means that Yavanaha, that means the Greeks and the Romans, which originated in Italy and Greece respectively, will suffer a lot. The Yavanas are basically the Romans um, and, the, and also the next people to be affected will be Ujjaini, Central India and um, very powerfully um, afflicted and many other parts of India will be afflicted during this period and also the next year. So that's why I mean the world needs immunity. That's what I would like to say during this period. And we are checking out the Guru Gochara. Um, so the Guru Gochara or Jupiter transit for the next year, uh, 2021, Jupiter starts moving away. April 6, 2021, Jupiter enters Kumbharashi. And again, he enters back. He backtracks uh, to Makara. And again, he comes back to Kumbha. So once he comes back to Kung, uh, Kumbha is November 21st, 2021. Now, this is the final release from the atrocities of the planetary conjunctions. They're not atrocities. They're our atrocities that are being reflected and shown to us. Now, I shall explain that also. Um, before this, let me talk about the conjunction. Uh, the Kosha conjunction says, Yamajiva, uh, yeah, Yamajiva Sangame Yadyaga Chet Tada Kosha. And then it says, Samoha Kosha Bhayadau Prajanam. Samoha Kosha Bhayadau Prajanam. Yamajiva Sangame Yadyaga Chet Tada Kosha. That means when Jupiter and Saturn come conjunct with each other and then other planets also come into the picture it's known as the kosha conjunction and the next verse says samoha kosha bhayadau prajanam this may give a lot of fear to the public but we need not get scared this is only going to give us the fear let's stand up let's take pledges not to trouble nature anymore let's opt for eco-friendly alternatives let's stop troubling any animal my dear friends any killing of animals let the if the people who are engaged in the killing of animals themselves come up and say, I'm not going to kill any more animals from today, they will be given the highest of merits because they have sacrificed what they thought was their business for the sake of themselves and the world. So my dear friends, 
if we stop this right now, right now, the world will be saved, so will we from our bad deeds. So it's very important uh, to consider this and to stop harming any creature uh, from now itself. And uh, so people also shouldn't be consuming such uh, items, otherwise there might be more issues and the karma just keeps building up. In the same way, polluting the earth, unnecessarily uh, you know, wasting food, people who waste food get back the wastage of food. Uh, according to statistics, people have started wasting food like never all across the world, especially in so-called advanced countries like the West, like uh, America, etc. People just dump the food. You know, uh, statistics show that more than half of the food is being dumped. People just buy food, it gets spoiled, they just dump it. They buy and they dump it. It's all running on a system of food as a complete commodity. No one is looking at the spiritual aspect of food. Food is Brahma, Annam Brahma. Brahma Arpanam Brahma Havihi. Brahma Gnau Brahma Nahutam. Brahma Ivatena Gantavyam. Brahma Karma Samadhina. Food is God. Annad Bhavanti Bhutani. Parjanya Danna Sambhava. Yagnad Bhavati Parjanya. Yagnya Karma Samudhava. Bhagavad Gita talks about all these wonderful things explaining clearly along with other facts that food is God. We need to respect food. If we respect food today, we'll have it on our platter tomorrow. So this is what I would like to say as a solution for the whole world. Along with that, we should stop uh, torturing animals, as I said. Just for one day, the government, just for a few days, the government locks us up in a cage inside our own home with all these wonderful opulences of the lights and fans and in the internet and entertainment. But we never realize this. And we scream for this. We, we say, what are you doing to us? But do we realize when the animals, and especially the chickens and the chicks, who are just dumped inside a small you know, tray of steel, and a small, you know, I mean a box of steel, a grilled box of steel, and putting them all, dumping them all in, three or four in one small box. Just imagine the, the, uh, you know, the feelings they would have, the frustration they would have. I don't mean that the human frustration is, uh, you know, uh, quite uh, easy to take, but still, it's nothing compared to what we have done to the animals. Chickens, other creatures, we dump them, we cut their throats and let them hang with their blood dripping the whole night and then we cut them and eat them, their carcasses, and we cause the deaths of millions of animals every minute, I would say, in, on Earth. So, would Earth tolerate all of this? No way. She would release such viruses periodically, she would kill humans periodically, she would force humans to stay indoors periodically, and she would create tyrannical situations periodically. This all will happen through the conjunctions of the planets that can be divine. These are the mirrors of humanity. One can see what is happening in the sky and understand what will happen on the ground, terrestrially. So this is what I would like to say during this period. Um, one more thing was that the Jupiter, the planet Jupiter is transiting double during this period. I should also display uh, the double transits of Jupiter. Generally, uh, what's happening is uh, during the years of 2020, uh, 2019, 2020 and 2021, Jupiter is doing something called the double transit. That means it's entering into a sign, again coming back and again entering. And whenever it does this, it becomes retrograde and again it becomes progressive, re-retrograde and so many more things. Yeah, can you show that? Yeah, I'm going to show that. So over here, for example, um, Makara or uh, yeah, Capricorn, uh, Jupiter is entering Capricorn March 30th, just uh, two days back. Um, and uh, Dhanus Rashi, Jupiter is actually entering uh, Dhanus Ra eg uh, yeah, exiting Makara and re entering Dhanus Rashi June 30th. Um, and again is entering Makara November 20th. So he's entering a sign in the retrograde motion, which isn't a good sign of what will happen in the future. So I think it's going to be really bad. The election of 2019 happened at a very bad day. Actually speaking, it happened at uh, the Kala Sarpa, you know, conjunction of Ra uh, no, Rahu was in the, uh, Rahu was in Gemini, Ketu was in Sagittarius, and the Lagna was kept as Rahu. So all these things together matter a lot, and uh, that's why our economy has collapsed, I would say, and many more planetary conjunctions too. And uh, to complete with a summary, I would like to summarize that um, number one. 
<coughs> yes. Uh, so, regarding uh, the coronavirus, the coronavirus would end, I mean, would slowly start reducing only post June uh, 30th. That means July would be the beginning of the slow reduction. And number two, uh, when will there be another coronavirus outbreak or some other issue that might strike the world? Yes, most probably and perfectly yes. It will begin December 20th. There will be complete economic disintegration during this period. Regarding the economy, the economy would powerfully collapse uh, now also and would again start collapsing heavily starting December 20th. And other things I found out during this period are also extremely significant. Um, the fall of the rupee. Uh, against the dollar and other currencies against the dollar and the dollar falls against gold and gold is the winner. Gold increases during this period. And so many more things. So the planetary conjunction that is happening is basically uh, on uh, February 10th, 2021. We're having a planetary conjunction of Sun, Moon, uh, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus and uh, Saturn. So even if Sun and Moon are not considered as planets over here, um, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus and Saturn are coming together during this time but this also shows that something beneficial might happen during this period. Saturn and Jupiter conjunction is really powerful uh, during uh, on, on February 10th. Uh, Mars is away so things will surely get better but there will be a lot of difficulty during that period and uh, will there be a food crisis is the next question yes there might be a food crisis but farmers shouldn't be stopped from growing food just because of coronavirus it's not gonna afflict the farmers farmers have strong immunity not only that even if they don't have strong immunity farmers are not in contact with uh, you know so many people as in cities they just perform their agricultural activities peacefully let them continue otherwise there'll be a lot of issues my dear friends this just doesn't mean that people start panic buying otherwise it will create a major economic issue let's allow the farmers to grow the food let's keep them safe and let's keep ourselves safe if they stop growing food if they suffer losses they're going to commit suicide and that sin will fall upon the whole of the world and not only that the world won't have any food to eat nor will the government officials nor will the people who are standing on the roads to beat the public and punish them for uh, you know not adhering to the curfew order they also won't have food to stand on the road and beat people so yeah these will be the implications my dear friends um, international distress will happen and uh, basically one two major things are the world needs immunity the world needs non-violence we need to stop doing all the bad things we have done it yes and immunity obviously comes because of good food not only food the government even if the government starts providing us food packaged from amazon food packaged in these cardboard boxes thrown on people's heads to eat food that's not going to give any nutrition people will lose their immunity and they will die in larger numbers when the planetary conjunction comes quicker so all these things will happen if the food chain supply is stopped. Yes, so now can you show those two things of those videos? Yeah. So uh, dear viewers, now we are seeing uh, the clippings where police are beating uh, the common people. Yeah, can, so I'm going to show this in a separate clipping. Can you please cut it? And I'm also going to show certain other things over here um, where uh, certain many migrant workers have been sprayed with so-called disinfectant uh, in Uttar Pradesh. So this is basically such an inhumane treatment to people. Uh, such chemicals are horribly. Just look at that. The people who are spraying it have worn complete medical suits, and they are spraying people who are completely, uh, you know, not covered. And they're spraying people with such horrible chemicals. Instead, they can spray people with, you know, neem liquid if they're so concerned about people's health. If they're spraying people with disinfectants which cause burning in the eyes and burning on the face, even children and everyone has been sprayed with this. The immune system goes down, the respiratory system is badly aff uh, afflicted and these people can contract the coronavirus faster than anyone else. This is basic foolishness of the government, basic inhumane tendency of the government and this has to be stopped otherwise there might be a severe, uh, you know, 
severe problem and people will uh, contract the coronavirus faster with very uh, you know very less immunity levels so here's the clipping I was talking about. Um, uh, farmers are being badly affected due to the coronavirus lockdown. A lot of crops are being harmed, uh, especially in Karnataka. Uh, more, tons of pineapples, tons of grapes, tons of uh, various fruits and vegetables have been thrown. Many farmers have dumped their tomato produce into the you know lake and uh, food is getting wasted at a very large scale because the government is not allowing farmers to grow any food and in some places they are also locking up the farmers from growing the food which I should also show over here um, this is uh, a village uh, called Gauri Bidanur, Hire Bidanur so people are being locked inside it's more than 600 people in 153 homes uh, have been locked with the lock and if this happens across the world or at least across India it's going to cause a lot of mass havoc and uh, there will be no food to eat and the immunity will come down drastically and uh, people will have to suffer famine also so the government has to take quick action against what they have done already and it's really wrong to do what they have done and along with which uh, if any particular person tries to use astrological predictions for the sake of the fulfillment of their evil plans they will surely get back a lot of danger because astrology first of all doesn't work for people who have evil intentions so their plans which they have in mind to do bad for humanity will not work out and that's what i would like to say so thank you jai shri krishna jai shri ramachandra jai shri lakshmi Desimha.